Today, friends, we're going to take a trophy from Thingiverse and customize it in Tinkercad. So let's get cracking. So, friends, step one is to visit Thingiverse and, of course, type trophy. Look for the one that you think is cool. I like this one from Flowlistic. When you click on it, of course, it's super cool to take a moment to give a reaction. If you scroll down, you'll find all kinds of information about if you're allowed to sell it. I'm not selling these. I am just having fun with it and teaching you how to customize for your own personal use. If we look through the different versions, this is the smooth one that I want. So all I need to do is hit download and I'm going to save it right in my downloads folder so I can bring it into Tinkercad. At this point, friends, launch Tinkercad. Of course, it is the website Tinkercad.com and we want to hit create. 3D design. I'm going to call it trophy with name. And then we need to get that file by choosing import, choose a file. And right here is the awesome flowalistic trophy. When we hit open, we can pick the measurements we want. I want my height to be 50 millimeters. Everything else snaps into place and we can simply hit import. Note it does take a moment to load. And there it is. All right, let's go track down our words before I show you how to make them curve. I would like fancy fonts, so I'm going to work with Canva. And we're going to simply make a Instagram post. When it loads, we are going to switch to text and we're going to add a text box. I'm going to simply put my name, Mike, and then I'm going to pick a fun font. Today, I'm going to play with Dingo's stamp. I do want to make it all capitals just because I think that'll be more fun. And then I'm just going to grab this with my screen capture tool. With that image, this is Snagit. I'm going to do File, Export, and I'm just going to save this right to my default folder by clicking Next, Next, and Finish. Just like that, we're ready to bounce to Pick SVG. We are going to upload that picture we just took. Here you can see is the name Mike. When we hit Open, it'll show up with these edges. I don't want the edges. I want internal. I'm going to just skip right to internal too. They all work pretty much the same, but for some reason, I prefer that number when I pick them. And we're simply going to download the SVG. I'm going to put Mike 2 because I've done this more than once. Now we are back to Tinkercad and we're going to bust out the import tool, choose a file. And there is that Mike 2 SVG. We only want the art. And instead of 144 millimeters, which is huge, I'm going to tell you that we're going to type 25 and press enter and hit import. There's our fun text. Of course, we'll need to rotate it. This is the rotation handle. If you go inside the box, it's 22 and a half degrees at a time. If you move the mouse away, it's one degree at a time. If you hold down shift, it is 45 degrees at a time, which makes it just a little faster. Let's select these and do L for a line. We want it to be right in the middle. And then I'm going to pick my height. I think I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to stretch it a little taller just because it's fun and I'm going to move it back into place. I want it to be less than half. So I'm going to just squeeze this in a tiny bit and let's do a line one more time. Select them all, L for a line, and I want to make sure it's in the middle. Now I'm going to poke it out just a little bit and let me show you how we make it so it matches the curve of the cup. In Tinkercad, we work with all these solids like this one right here, the tube. Watch this, by changing the numbers, we can make this go to the exact size in a heartbeat. I'm going to try a radius of 20. I'm going to make it a hole. I'm going to maximize the side so it's as smooth as it can be. And I'm going to type 5.5 for this edge. Now check it out. Let's line this up. If I shift select the cup and the ring, hit L for a line, and we want to set it to the middle and the middle, when we raise this up, Let's see how close we are to our words. That's slicing pretty good. Oh my gosh. If you look at it from the top, we nailed it on the first guess. I'm going to make it taller than our words. And then we simply need to cut out the insides. We're going to do that by bringing out a hole here. And then this inside of the cup, if we look, is about 25. So I'm just going to shift stretch. And I got 25 accidentally. If you don't get 25, you just type it. And because we held shift, it'll snap into place. Let's maximize the sides. I'm going to shift select those two holes. L for a line. Make the tube the boss. And we want center, center. And let's do center again. 
Now, friends, I'm going to make this just a little bit better. I'm going to hide this piece. And then I'm going to click on that hole. And let's switch to top view. And let's do flat view. So now we're looking exactly at that from the top. Let's switch our nudge to point one. And I'm going to hold down Alt and Shift and just make this so it's a little closer because I only want it to be on that outside edge as close as I can. Now we can grab all those three pieces, do Control G, show all, look at it again from the top to make sure that it lines up. And that is going to be absolutely fantastic. It is connected. Now it is curved. I'm going to switch back to perspective view. I'm going to use control up to get it at the exact height that I want. Switch the color to black just because it's a little more fun. See if we can make this a gold color real quick. And bang, we have got a cup ready for 3D printing. I do want to add a hole in the back. We're going to do that with the torus. Make it a hole. Maximize the sides. I like the tube to be about 5 millimeters, and I'm going to keep that radius. We do want to stand it up. So I'm going to look at it from a corner. There's that rotation handle. And just like before, 90 degrees is the number we want. And then you want to pick where you want to put it. I do want you to know that you want to miss the stem. And here we are leaving just a couple millimeters in the back. So that'll be groovy. Select them. L for a line. This one's the boss. Choose middle so it's lined up. And bang, control G. We have just made a potential keychain. 3D printable, personalized cup. Let's export it for 3D printing. Of course, we do separate parts. I'm going to do export STL, and this will be the cup. I'm going to name mine Trophy 1 and hit save. Then, of course, we need to click on the words, export, STL, and I'm going to put trophy, name, and two. And finally, save changes. Friends, with our parts saved, we are in Bamboo Studio. I'm going to add our project files. I've got the trophy name and the trophy, and we can hit open. We do want to load them as a single object, multiple parts. Now, if we print this one color, it only takes about 30 minutes. If we print it two colors, it's going to take two hours oriented like this. I don't have time for that today because I'm about to drive out to 3D Printopia. I will show you the steps and then hopefully my family will send me some pictures so I can share this with you later. To print it two colors, we're going to simply move out to object mode. I'm going to take the name part and I'm going to set it to black. I'm going to set the trophy to gold. And then if we slice it right here, I'll just let you see this. It's going to take two hours and 35 minutes. Remember, it was a 30-minute print if I do it all gold. I'll show you an all gold one in a minute. I'm also going to show you this option. If we take this part right here and go back to prepare, let's rotate it 90 degrees. So I'm just going to lay it like this. It drops automatically. And then we can go to global. And let's turn on supports. I'm going to just use the normal default ones. I'm going to leave on build plate only unchecked. If we hit slice plate now, we went from a two and a half hour print to an hour and a half print. Friends, I'm going to hit print plate. We'll leave the time lapse on. And of course, let's send it to the 3D printer. As you can see, it switches to the device menu and it starts downloading. Once it has completed, we can click on play and monitor everything from afar. Of course, I want to wrap up by saying thanks for the question. I want to thank everybody that's supporting me out there on Patreon. And don't forget, every time you click like, add a comment, share that video with a friend, or just tell people about HL Mod Tech, you're helping us become just a little bit bigger, which always makes my day. Of course, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad. Below that, you'll find tons of amazing categories. Also, the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down a little bit further, you will find my course, Tinkercad in 20 Days, which is hosted on cadclass.org. This video will teach you all about it. And, of course, there's a sweet coupon code that'll get you 25% off 
any of the amazing courses on the site. Of course, you can use this link right there to visit in minutes. Finally, friends, don't forget the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget to absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.